cowboy pose, right? Huh? Dude, maybe one foot on here. And then one foot on there? Yeah. This is kickoff of Canmore. It's the launch party. You should be here. It's going to be an awesome 12 days. You're going to see us all around the place. Time to get going for Canmore okay, on call. And we'll wrap that for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like yours? Okay. Here we go. One, two, two, three. Here we go. Yeah, no sous vide. But what are you sous vide? It looks like octopus or something. <laughs> Can you guys check out at the fried bread tent where my executive chef is? Is that what's happening outside? That's what's happening outside at the tent. I heard it's a secret recipe. My um, grandmother's recipe. And she you showed me. It? And yeah. Smells delicious. Thank you. We have something like this in South Africa called fit cook. Mm -hmm. It's like I've fiber. Never heard of that. You've never heard of no. fit cook? Look at the crowd. Which team are you on? Uh, we'll, we'll see uh, whether the Canadian team beats the French or who, who wins. Canada! Canada. Here we go. Doors opening. Camera on cork. Launch party 2012 finally happening. You should be here. What are we drinking? Uh, bruised and bloody. Bruised it's a competition and bloody. I wanted after to all. know what that is, bruised and bloody. It's actually a drink, but we've tweaked it a bit as we do to make it our own. So you're the Alberta team? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. We're all camera locals too. That's a little bit of a high standard you have to, to get for. So I was looking at all these left-sided hanging beef yes. sous vide behind me. Whose yeah. idea was that? Uh, mine. We're in Alberta and we're the Canadian team. We got pretty much uh, all Canadian ingredients. Alberta Good. beef, uh, BC fiddleheads, Saskatchewan barley. You got, you got all good. Thank you very much. Go for it. Uh, tonight uh, we're eating a bouillabaisse, a traditional French dish uh, from south of France, exactly from Marseille. Also, the bouillabaisse is always served with some olive oil. So this is a garlic paste made with olive oil, bread, chili and milk. It's delicious. That's actually makes the bouillabaisse. French team always win. Good. Are you planning a big exit tonight or not? No. No, not at all. No, we, we can't discuss things like that. <laughs> Good. What are we eating? Tell me, because it looks quite dainty in particular here. Yeah, okay. So it's uh, basically a cold version of lamb and mint and potatoes. The best dinner that I remember as a kid, so it's very nostalgic, but I've just done a cold version of it. That's your opening act? Yeah. Yeah? What's the main act? No, that's that. Come on now. <laughs> When we were hunting and gathering with it as a normal tribe, we wouldn't have uh, GFSs or Cisco's or big moving trucks with it. So it had to be something that we could either hunt, gather, or plant. So we took these elements of elk, something that we would hunt, rhubarb and beet reduction of something that would be we could find wild or plant easily. It's topped off with a smoked bison pemmican, and then we took a carrot salad. We peeled them, we marinated them, we used the tops for pesto. We dehydrated them, made a carrot perno. We took the Used to be dehydrated, made a vinaigrette. That's and our inspiration. Wow, that's all I can say. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Wow. Tell me, what do you think of the elk? That's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, it's Fry bread. This too. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Good. What's your favorite so far? Well, this is the only one I've tried. Take a sip of wine. You got three more to get through. Go for it. You guys are amazing. What's this squiggly thing doing there? I don't really know. It's like the worm from tequila. It, yeah, it's like the tequila with the worm in it. It's yeah. a sour worm. Yeah. But you've guys got the elk, I think. Yep. What's the verdict? Out of 10. Amazing. Out of 10. Yeah, amazing out of 10. Did you escape Edmonton? Yeah. Yeah? I know you're a judge, so yep. you're not allowed to tell which one's your favorite. Right. But what's the standard of talent? It's very good. It's very, very good. I mean, you got Neil McHugh, who's one of the best chefs in Alberta, really, here. You've got Anthony Rado, who's uh, from Market. Uh, he's doing a beautiful job. You've got the guys from Grey Eagle, who are doing a terrific job with the elk. And then back here, we've got the Hogshead guys, and I'm just about to tuck in to what looks like a very lovely plate. He hit all the Alberta notes on that. So he's got yep. the beef, he's got the barley. barley got, yeah. Man, that's awesome. You I'm not going to stand fiddleheads. between you and your food <laughs> any longer. Good. What happened to the cowboy? This has candy in it, so this is delicious. Yes. But uh, this is out of 10. I would go with nine. I'm a lamb person. And I love the mint. Like, it's my kind of dish. In a bite, it was full of flavor, but that's me. But I, my second favorite was Canmore, but... I'm the chef. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're the So chef. I would say that you know. the lamb was too acidic. Oh, you found the food. Hey, we well found done. our tickets and our food. <laughs> 
Double double fisted, man boy. No, we, we sort of trying everything all together to try and get the risk, the risk of the standard. So far, it's a hard choice. It's lamb or beef. Well, yeah. Which one are you, a beef guy or a lamb guy? Well, I spent five years in London, so I'm a big, I'm a bit partial to lamb myself. Lamb and mint, classic. Volume. Tiny country. Okay. Lots of heart and soul. So this is the sous vide beef with barley. Next one. I'll take the bread. You'll take the bread. Rabbit food and uh, pesto. Here we go. One. What? Two. Yep. Three, four. That could move up at least two spices if you do the pairing drink. I think we got it wrong. We needed the drinks, guys. Sorry. We need to check back in later. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does it feel? Feels great, honestly. Uh, it's such a great event, but with it to be centered around food and beverage and people coming through in a room full of foodies, it's uh, there's really, honestly, no better feeling than getting cheers for different parts of your dishes. It's fantastic. Yeah. You're so passionate. Why? Yeah. If you read my menu at Grey Eagle, it says passion is the magical ingredient ingredient to creating great food. It's right on my menu. You and I are of the same mindset, sir. I love it, man. Why? Why are you doing this? I, I love it, and we are showcasing what truly are Camel's remarkable dining experiences. We have the best culinary crews here in town. We have so many restaurants, and it's fantastic. Was that your master plan all along? Great food? Always. Camel and Court is all about, we always say it, remarkable dining experiences. The chefs here tonight have absolutely delivered upon that, and they've worked for a long time in, in planning these menus and getting them right. Who are you going to invite? Uh, I'm inviting the whole town. I'm inviting the whole province. Awesome. You should be here. Good.